Hello, I'm Kenny from Boss Power Tools. And today we'll learn together how to use a hammer. We'll touch some safety points and we will learn some hints also. Before starting any application with your hammer, you should check safety, safety of your eyes. Use safety glasses. For your hands, gloves are very important. And for your ears, air protection. Check the condition of the tool. If the hammer is working well, check the trigger that it's turning on and off correctly, like that. Check if the lock on button is working correctly. And also be careful about which mode you are in. Very important also to check the cable. If it's good, there is no cut helping you to work. How to get started using a hammer? First thing to do is to mount the handle. Never mount a handle that way. If you are left-handed, it should be that way. If you are right-handed, in the other way. Just pay attention to the depth gauge. It should be on top and tighten the handle. Now, speaking about some hints on hammer. Do you know that you can use a hammer as a drill? Yes, you can. You need a normal chuck, which converts from SDS plus to round bit chuck. You just mount it easily as you mount a normal SDS bit. You mount the normal round bit on it, as we showed in the impact drill video. Then again, you tighten the chuck in the three different holes you have in the chuck. And normally, this is useful for wood and metal applications. So please turn off the impact. Because anyway, with this kind of chucks, you don't have any impact during the application. Another hint is about when to use a hammer and an impact drill. An impact drill has a simple impact force, which is only used for drilling in masonry and bricks. But if you have heavy application drilling in concrete, you need absolutely a hammer because the mechanism behind gives you more impact force. An extra hint for you is how to get the perfect drill hole depth. Usually you have a depth gauge with your hammer. You can easily mount this depth gauge in this part just by clicking on this point. Then be sure that those marks are fitting to the marks mentioned here. And then limit the depth gauge at the same desired depth you want to go. Then you release the red button and you are ready to drill the perfect hole. With this extra hint, you are sure to release every time the same depth and you will be able to do serial drilling. One last hint for you is the safety clutch. And this is available on all Bosch hammers. With the safety clutch, you will be sure that you are not losing control of the hammer. And also very important to have the second handle. I will show it to you now. And please don't do this at home. As you can hear, this is a normal sound when drilling without impact. Now you will see the difference in the sound when the clutch isn't work. This safety feature helps you control your hammer and avoid any kickback. Another hint when you're using a hammer, don't push too much. This creates the blowout effect. If you push too much, the dust cannot get out from the hole. Just let the tool work for you and don't work for the tool. As a summary, please keep in mind, when using a hammer, protect yourself, your eyes, your hands, and your ears. Also, when using a hammer, handle it in the right way. Don't push too much. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, share it and subscribe to our channel.